How's it going, guys? We have some interesting news for you from the world of space exploration today. And this might be particularly fascinating to those among us who adamantly believe that the moon landings never even happened, or that they were hoaxes or faked somehow. NASA has in its possession three lunar samples that are sealed and haven't been touched by human hands since the final Apollo missions way back in the 1970s. This week, NASA allocated several million dollars to nine different teams to study the artifacts, with NASA boss administrator Jim Bridenstine saying, quote, When the previous generations did Apollo, they knew that the technology they had in that day was not the technology that we would have in this day, so they made a determination that they were going to preserve samples because they knew that there would be a day when better technology would be able to better assess all of the history of the moon. The different teams will be studying various facets of the lunar objects, including testing for noble gases to determine the true age of those preserved moon rocks. In other NASA news, Asteroid 101-955-Bennu, which was discovered in 1999 and is officially classified as a carbonaceous asteroid, which means it is composed mostly of carbon in addition to rocks and minerals. Carbon, guys, of course, is the element we most associate with life as we know it. Said to be anywhere from 100 million to 1 billion years old, Bennu is a top-shaped spinning asteroid that rotates once every 4.3 Earth hours. Its odd shape leads to anomalies in its gravity where objects can theoretically be flung from the asteroid's surface and into deep space. And guys, it has been confirmed that the spinning object is actually speeding up, if you can believe that. Now orbiting Bennu is NASA's craft OSIRIS-REx, which stands for Origins Spectral Interpretation Resource Identification Security Regolith Explorer. It launched in September of 2016 and reached Bennu's orbit in December, two years later. The spacecraft has already made some important discoveries with the asteroid, including finding water late last year. Studying the asteroidal samples upon their return in 2023 will help scientists learn about the origins of our solar system and perhaps the origins of life on Earth. This is, of course, assuming the mission goes as planned. The asteroid's surface is a chaotic, debris-littered obstacle course, which will prove a challenging feat for the craft to negotiate. It should be noted that the asteroid is also listed as a potentially hazardous object that has a 1 in 2700 chance of impacting Earth in a little over 100 years. For us, a very interesting fact about asteroid Bennu is that it is named after the ancient Egyptian god of rebirth and creation, who is often associated with the immensely significant Egyptian deity Osiris, the god of the afterlife and ruler of the underworld. Author and researcher Graham Hancock had this to say regarding the mission. It's curious that NASA chose an ancient Egyptian theme in naming and studying this asteroid, Bennu, the phoenix, was linked to the sacred Ben-Ben stone of Heliopolis, which was, almost certainly, an oriented iron meteorite. And Osiris Rex? Osiris the King? What's that about? What indeed? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe to this channel for more interesting content. 